Replacing the keyboard on almost every single MacBook is tedious. And if you've ever tried to do it, you've probably run into a few problems where either there are so many screws that you need to take out of the back or there are rivets, plastic rivets, and sometimes there are metal rivets. Today, I wanted to show you some tips and tricks when you encounter the metal rivets. It can be a pain to remove and replace the metal rivets. There's at least one enjoyable thing, at least for me, it's the destruction of the old keyboard in the process because you can't necessarily get it out in one piece uh, or cleanly if you have the metal rivets. You're probably replacing it because it needs to anyway, so it really doesn't matter. Let me show you how I go about replacing the keyboards uh, with, metal, with metal rivets. The first thing that we need to do is remove this protective sticker. This helps prevent things from getting inside the device. Got quite a bit of adhesive, but it will come off with a little bit of effort. We need to then unscrew all of the screws that are surrounding the border. There are a handful in the middle as well, and they are different types. Now for the fun part. Without hurting myself, I'm gonna carefully take it all apart using a mixture of pushing on it with my thumb or using some pliers. I have designed these wire cutters to work in my favor. I drilled a small hole, which allows me to grip tightly around the rivets and remove them. And for the most part, I can do it without damaging them. I'll take my new keyboard and put it in once I've done that. And here I've got some screws that I'll put in place wherever I don't have a rivet to put back. Here you can see one of the rivets that I successfully extracted. With a couple hits, I'm able to put it back in place. By the end, I like to have a combination of rivets and screws. The rivet simply will mushroom over and back into place. As long as you extract them properly, this won't be a problem. Otherwise, the screws will suffice. We'll then remove the protective sticker on both sides and put back our new protective backing. All the keys click. Let's clean up our mess. And there we go. All done and uh, ready to have the rest of the repair completed. It's definitely a tedious process, but it is satisfying and rewarding. I hope you learned something. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video. Mobile Centrix is on YouTube, Facebook, and Instagram.